So I'm sitting here making an omelet. Like legitimate, check it out, it's an omelet. I didn't even take a bite yet. And my phone starts going off regarding a massive hack with steak. Yeah, you've seen steak before, but you probably haven't even noticed it. Let's talk about the steak hack and how bad it actually is. And the whiteboard, everyone. Who's making money in crypto? Starting it off with you and your comments because you matter most. Rhonda Bradfoot says, we need emotional coaches like you in all our schools to reprogram our wah, wah, wah kids being raised these days. Love your style. Fun fact, everyone. I'm not allowed to go to parent-teacher conferences anymore because I once made my daughter's teacher cry. That's right, my daughter's fairly gifted and when she's not challenged, she just doesn't give a shit about school. And I told the teacher, I said, hey, my daughter's not doing bad because she's not smart. You're not challenging her. Well, I went on and on and on about how the teacher wasn't doing this, this, and this. By the end of it, she was crying. We left and, well, I don't go to parent-teacher conferences anymore. What else do we got? David Drainman 9466 says, could you please moderate the bad language? You're only demeaning yourself. Go fuck yourself. Demeaning myself? It's my style. You don't like it? Guess what? GTFO. Here's the best part. Michael Furbury says, you, sir, are the crypto police. Thank you, Klaus. People fucking listen to him. It's the vibe of this channel, everyone. Bitcoin sitting at 25,863 E, 1628. XRP clinging on to 50 cents at 50.6 with XLM right now sitting at 12.4, up 4.33%. XDC just under that six cent mark sitting at 5.7. All right, let's go. World's largest crypto casino stake hacked for 41.3 million. Whiteboard, who's making money in crypto? It's the hackers and tell me. Tell me the first thought you got is this isn't an inside job. Now, wait a minute. Did you catch what I just did? Hold on. Check it out. At the top of the heat map, look who's their sponsor, Stake.com. And you're like, oh my God, I have seen that all over. You know where else you've seen Stake? They were the sponsor, are the sponsor for BitBoy, partnered with Stake, the leading crypto betting platform creator. Telling you, this is everywhere. Kick owner stake reportedly hacked for $41 million. Let me share this one with you. Stake.com casino suspends deposits and withdrawals after they were exploited for four, one, oh geez, $41.3 million following a private key leak. On-chain Alanist. Alanist? Jesus, Klaus, you can't do this right. It's because I'm freaking hungry. I'm putting my food aside to bring you the news. On-chain analyst Cybers and Zach XBT detected multiple suspicious transactions across Ethereum, Polygon, and BSC. The victim wallet holds a remaining balance of 340,000 of ETH and 2.1 million in various altcoins. While the platform has not released an official statement on the matter, on-chain analysts have broken down the incident, revealing Ethereum, Polygon, and uh, Binance Smart Chain networks were involved. Here's the best part. This tweet right here from PeckShield. As always, any article you see in this video will be linked to everyone in the description below. And if you don't like my language, it's too damn bad. All right, that's my vibe. That's my style. You live with it or you don't. Peck Shield says, hi, at stake, you might want to take a look. Oh my God, this you can't make this up. And that's why I wrote it down in the, crypto, in the whiteboard. Who is making money in crypto these days? Hacks, scammers, and schemes. There's like 60 something billion hacks, scammed, and schemed in crypto so far. That is an atrocious number. And you know like casinos and all that kind of stuff have some of the best security out there. You know it, right? You ever been to Vegas? You know, put a little always bet on black, spinny, spin, spin on the wheel. Dude, security is legit with casinos. So for them to get exploited for 41.3 million, that is nasty. Totally nasty. Here's another one. Alert, our AI-powered system has detected multiple suspicious transactions with stake. Got them listed here. Now, some of you out there are probably wondering, Klaus, why would you bring up a story like this? It's to prove to everyone out there, nothing is safe in crypto right now. Seriously, FTX, you remember when FTX went down? What was some of the first things we were hearing about? Their accounts getting drained and we're like, wait a minute, they just declared bankruptcy and everything was locked up. How is it possible? Sam Bankman greed. What about Mashinsky? What about Doquan? Doquan was on the run and where do you think he was getting the money from? Inside job. I did another story earlier about inside job hacking. It is all over crypto. And trust me, I want crypto to do well, Web3 to do well. But the problem I'm seeing, one of the big ones, there's no financial trust. There's no financial protection. There's no FDIC-like insurance for it. 
So how are they going to garner more support financially from big players, institutions, venture capitalists? They did a story on venture capitalists. They put half a billion in the market last month, down from almost six billion a month a year ago. One twelfth. One twelfth of venture capital money is going into crypto. No wonder people aren't putting money in because there's no trust. There's no safety. So as much as people are like, you know what, banks suck, this and this and this, banks are insured at least, and banks ain't getting hacked and exploited like this left and right. There is a website, and I'm gonna put it down in the description below, okay? It's called Web3 is doing great. The whole premise of the site is just to detail all the hacks, scams, and schemes in crypto. And it is disgusting to read. But this is just yet another example of people out there. I get it. You might seriously want the biggest bull runs in crypto and all this, but who's going to put their money into this right now? There seriously is no trust. And the only people making money right now are shorting the ever-living hell out of the market, playing pumps and dumps. Yes, everyone, pumps and dumps. And the hackers out there. And the majority of these hacks, inside jobs, what about Abraham Eisenberg, who did the mango exploit? Yeah, it was like $100 million. I mean, look, I could go on for days and days and hours and hours regarding this stuff. But we all have to start saying, look, if we want crypto Web3 to do better, you want price action to just keep working on up, you got to fix these hacks, scams, and schemes. Or else big money is going to definitely stay the F away. I just... What's messing with me more than anything about this story, and not the fact that I've only gotten like a couple bites of my omelet. Check it out. See? A couple bites. Spinach, egg, a little bit of cheese, jalapenos, and hot salsa. But what's bothered me about it is that all these other new Jays and Cheese were reporting the story before Steak could even get an announcement out. Think about that. They're like, yo, Steak, you might want to pay attention to this because Steak's not even releasing anything right now. By the way, they're an Australian-based company. And I just, I, I, I don't know. It, it bothers me and it just, it hurts me a lot because seriously, I do want Crypto Web 3 to do well, but how are you going to do well when like every time I open up my internet browser, all I read about is the latest hack at, in exploit and all that and scam. We know there's more Sam Bankman greeds left. We know there's more Doquans, more Mashinskis. We got plenty of those losers still left out there. So you want Crypto Web 3 to start making some moon action? We got to start fixing some of these problems, everyone. No wonder big money is staying away. What am I doing? Well, as soon as I'm done filming, I'm going to eat this. Then I'm going to edit this video. What are you cool cats doing? Hopefully having a great rest of your day.